Hello everyone, welcome back to Nittany Lion Red Carpet. My name is JC Calavita, and I'll be talking about the latest installment in Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Moon Knight. Oscar, Oscar Isaac, you may know as Poe Dameron from the Star Wars sequels or as Timothy, Timothy Chalamet's father in Dune, plays the titular character in his very own Disney Plus show. Episode 1 dropped on Wednesday. Let's break this down. So I feel like this goes without saying, but there will be spoilers ahead. The show opens with every grain of sand by Bob Dylan playing in the background as we see a man break a glass with a cane and sprinkle the remains into his sandals. The man proceeds to put them on and walk away literally two minutes into Moon Knight and I'm already speechless. We knew this was going to be a different type of story for the MCU, but I can honestly say I have no idea where this is heading. So next we meet our hero, Stephen Grant, a.k.a. Mark Spector, a.k.a. Moon Knight. In the comics, Moon Knight is a mercenary with dissociative identity disorder. This causes people to have drastically different personality states and huge gaps in memory, which seen many times during this premiere. Stephen Grant is working as a clerk in an Egyptian museum in London. He wakes up in his apartment with a cord around his ankle and, sand, and a sand circle around his bed, tape on his door, and these are all precautions to make sure his condition doesn't get the best of him. That night, he goes to bed, resets all these precautions, and even plays a CD on repeat in an attempt to stay awake. Even so, Stephen wakes up face down in a field, his jaw dislocated, and immediately has to run away from two thugs from shooting at him, all the while hearing a voice to tell him, surrender the body to Mark. Here's, what we, here's where we meet the show's apparent villain, Arthur Harrow, played by four-time Oscar nominee Ethan Hawke. In the comics, Harrow is a Nobel Peace Prize recipient for his research in pain theory and lumps to wreak havoc for Moon Knight. Stephen somehow has come in possession of a golden scarab. Harrow unleashes his henchmen on Stephen, spawning an intense car chase on a winding road down a mountain where Stephen blacks out at various points and finds himself regaining consciousness with a gun in his hand on one occasion and driving backwards on another. He once again wakes up in his apartment believing it was all just a dream, only to realize later he has missed the previous two days, which included a date with a woman from his job. After coming back from his failed date, Stephen finds an old flip phone hidden behind one of the floorboards or wooden panels on the wall of his apartment. And he sees that he's gotten many, many missed calls from a woman called Layla. The phone rings once again and Layla's on the other line and she said she's been texting and calling Mark for months and questions his British accent, which is something that I actually really question too. It's very rare to see American actors play British characters. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Peter Dinklage playing Tyrion in Game of Thrones. You usually see it the other way around, especially here in the MCU with Tom Holland and Benedict Cumberbatch being the most notable examples. So when I heard this on screen at 3.30 with um, Mark having, being confused about his British accent, it all clicked at 3.30 in the morning. So at this point, Stephen has no idea what he's going to do as he continues to hear voices in his head. His whole apartment begins to shake as he heads back to the museum to look for some answers. Arthur Harrow shows up once again, and many of the museum employees are actually undercover followers. Harrow is basically a, a prophet for the Egyptian god Amet, who is associated with time and judgment. Harrow lets Stephen go without a fight, as if he can almost sense that the two will meet again. Later that night, Stephen encounters some kind of monster jackal dog thing in the museum as Har Harrow comes around on the loudspeaker, asking once again for the golden scarab. Stephen retreats into the bathroom as he looks in the mirror and sees his reflection, but it's not quite his. This is where we meet Mark Spector, speaking with that American accent I talked about before. Mark urges Stephen to give up control as he knows that he can save them both. Stephen obliges and here's where we get the very first glimpse of Moon Knight in his super suit. That's the end of episode one. So my initial thoughts on this series is that it will definitely be one of the most violent projects we've seen from Marvel Studios. And I really like where this is headed. It's a new thing. We're not going to see that many cameos. No crossovers quite yet. And I'm really excited for episode two. Moon Knight drops every Wednesday on Disney+. Plus. I'm JC Calavita, and we'll see you next week on Nittany Lion Red Carpet Network.